Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I will be discussing the part 2 of different communicable diseases. In this part, I will talk all about integumentary diseases. If you missed the part 1, which is all about gastrointestinal diseases, you can check the link in the description below. Let's start! Number one is measles. It is also called rubiola or seven-day measles. It is highly contagious viral infection caused by a paramyx of virus. Source of infection, secretions of the infected person. It is highly contagious virus that lives in the nose and throat of the infected person. Mode of transmission, the virus is transmitted by direct contact with the infectious droplets, indirect contact with the contaminated surfaces, and airborne. The virus can remain infectious in the air for around 2 hours after the infected person cough or sneeze. The incubation period for measles is usually 10 to 14 days. Signs and Symptoms First is coplic spots. This is the pathognomonic sign of measles. It is the presence of tiny spots in the mouth that indicates an early phase of measles. Next is fever. Runny nose, sore throat, and dry cough. Conjunctivitis and maculopapular rash. It is characterized by a flat, red area and raised skin lesions. Macule means a discolored flat skin lesions, while papule means small raised bumps. Diagnostic test, nose and throat swab together with the blood exam are done to measure measles specific immunoglobulin M or IgM. The result will be positive for up to six weeks after the start of the disease. Management First is isolation. This is to prevent the spread of the infection. Antiviral and antibiotics, IV fluids, skin care, and auto inhalation if necessary. Prevention Anti measles vaccine. It is given at 9 to 11 months, then MMR or the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine at 12 to 15 months as the second dose. Scabies. It is a skin infestation caused by tiny burrowing mites called Cercoptis scabii. These mites can burrow onto the skin for up to 3 millimeters and symptoms usually begin 3 to 6 weeks after the infestation. Source of infestation, human skin. Mode of transmission, direct prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact. And direct contact with fomites like clothing, beddings, etc. Incubation period is 2 to 6 weeks. Signs and symptoms, relentless itching. It occurs where the mite burrows and it is intense at night. Burrow raised lines in the skin. It is a unique appearance of the skin that is created as a tunnel. Lastly is the pimple-like rashes. Diagnostic test, skin scraping. This is done by scraping the infested area of the skin and examines it under a microscope. Treatment Topical cream like permethrin cream, benzyl benzoate lotion, sulfur ointment, antihistamines or steroid cream for swelling and to relieve the itch. 
Ivermectin is given to patients who have crusted scabies and if there is no improvement seen after the initial treatment. Prevention Avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact to patients with scabies. Maintain a clean surroundings. And have a good personal hygiene. Next is leprosy. It is also known as Hansen's disease. It is a chronic, progressive, systemic bacterial infection caused by Mycobacterium leprae. It affects the eyes, skin, upper respiratory tract, and peripheral nerves. According to WHO, the exact mechanism of the disease is still unknown, but the possible mode of transmissions are direct contact with the infected person when he or she sneezes or cough, and it can be transmitted via respiratory route. Next is airborne droplets. Lastly, prolong close skin contact with the infected person. Incubation period. The incubation period varies, but the average is five years. Some will take one year to show symptoms, while others will take as long as 20 years or more. Signs and symptoms. Skin lesions that are single or multiple and it can be seen as flat, raised, or as nodules. Sensory loss. This is the classic characteristic of leprosy. Next is thick or painful nerves. This is due to nerve damage, which is accompanied by loss of sensation in the skin and muscle weakness. Red and dry eyes. And in later stage, large ulcerations, facial disfigurement, and contractures may develop. Diagnostic test Slit skin smear It is done by getting a tiny cut of lesion as a sample and it will be examined using a microscope. Next is skin biopsy. This is used as a definitive test to confirm the diagnosis of leprosy. Management Multi-drug therapy A single drug is not recommended because it can develop drug resistance. So a combination of drugs are used that depends on the classification of the disease. Rifampicin is the most important drug and it is combined with clofazimine and dapson for the treatment of multibacillary leprosy. While for patients with pausibacillary leprosy, it is a combination of rifampicin and dapson only. Next is isolation followed by skin care. Prevention, BCG vaccine. It is a vaccine for tuberculosis, but there are also studies that suggest that it is also helpful in the prevention of leprosy. Lastly, is health education with regards the disease to prevent its transmission. German measles. It is also called rubella or three-day measles. It is an acute, contagious viral infection caused by rubella virus. It has a milder symptoms compared to measles, but it can cause congenital rubella syndrome if it is present during pregnancy and serious birth defects may be present. Mode of transmission Direct contact with the infectious droplets Indirect contact with the contaminated surfaces and airborne droplets when the infected person cough or sneeze. The incubation period is 2 to 3 weeks and the most infectious period is usually 1 to 5 days after the rashes appear. Signs and symptoms Rashes that usually start on the face and neck then down to the whole body. 
It can last for one to three days. A low-grade fever, less than 39 degrees Celsius. Swollen lymph nodes in the neck and behind the ears. Painful joints that can last for three to ten days. Runny nose, inflamed eyes, sore throat, and headache. Diagnostic test, blood exam. This is to identify the virus, check the antibodies, and previous infections. Management, isolation, acetaminophen for fever and joint pains, and bed rest. Prevention, MMR or the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. It should be given at 12 to 15 months. Herpes zoster. It is also called shingles. It is a contagious viral infection caused by varicella zoster virus that primarily start as a chicken pox. Then the virus will reactivate from its latent state causing inflammation of posterior dorsal root ganglion. The incubation period is 2 to 3 weeks or usually 13 to 17 days. Mode of transmission, direct contact to fluid of blisters, airborne, and droplets. Signs and symptoms, fever and general weakness is the early manifestation of shingles. Pain, burning, and tingling sensation. Skin rush that is usually localized to one side of the body. Fluid-filled blisters. Diagnostic test. Direct fluorescent antibody test. It is used to detect the presence of a particular antigen. Polymerase chain reaction. It is the most useful test to confirm the suspected case of herpes zoster. Management, aciclovir is the drug of choice to treat shingles, pain reliever, and anti-inflammatory drugs. Prevention, live attenuated zoster vaccine, and avoid exposure to infected patients. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.